they ask you this on a, no, I'm, this is not a rhetorical question. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying this is how they'll ask you this on an on a interview, right? They'll say, look, a user complained to you and said, look, he did a, a simple update statement, and all of a sudden, his SQL prompt is hanging, and it's been hanging for a few minutes. What could possibly be the problem? Your answer to that is, wrong there's pro, uh? I said wrong server. No. No, 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 this is update, not even connect. I think there's a lock here. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah, you see, right? Welcome to what? Oracle locks. Oracle locks. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, now watch this. Everybody, if you have more than one tab open, close the other ones. I only want to have just one tab that's open that's SQL, that's that, where you're connected to sys, right? Everybody only has one tab, right? Now, open up two additional tabs. Right click, open up two additional tabs. Open up two additional tabs. Right click and open up two additional tabs. We're about, I'm about to, let's, let's, let's mimic, right? Let's mimic this, this error, all right? Now watch this. On the middle tab, in the middle tab, I want you to connect as the Scott user. So simply do what? SQL plus from the OS, SQL plus Scott slash Tiger, semicolon. Then on the last tab, I want you to do a SQL plus HR slash HR. In the first tab that you've been doing all your work so far today as a sysdba, I simply want you to do this. This is all I want you guys to do. I want you to do what? Grant select update on scott.emp to HR. On this, you do on the first tab. Second tab, just connect to Scott. Third tab, connect to HR. It shouldn't take you guys more than. 15 seconds if you're good. Who's done? We need to connect after importing that. Uh, you're already connected. You're already connected. Okay. So are you connected to Scott here? Yes. yes. So, it's HR here. Right? Mm -hmm. Scott HR, right? Mm -hmm. Scott HR, right? Yep. Oh, not yours again. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. All right, all right. You are? Hmm? No, you're not going to. Mm-mm. I've got all of your scots. I don't know how. I've got a tiger account unlock. OK. I did it. Very good. But you didn't do enterprise manager, did you? Okay. Stay. Learn it again. Right? Believe me, just stay. Stay. Lazy girl. Right? All right. Has everybody done that? Sis? Has everybody done that? Sis, HR, and Scott. You should only have three tabs open. How are we looking here? Uh huh. Send me going. Oh, yeah, two HR. There you go. Very good. Right? All right. So now watch this. On your scott.emp table, in the one that you're connected as Scott, right? The middle one. I want you to simply do this. I'm going to teach you guys how to, if, how to kill a user, right? How to kill a user. I want you to do this. Update Scott on the, on the middle tab. Not, don't do this as this. Update Scott. Dot EMP set epno to equal to four five four five where epno equals I think we did one for five 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 five. No 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 we did one for seven 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 seven. Semicolon. We do semicolon, don't commit. 
and show that you don't commit. Right? Don't commit. Now, in the tab where you're connected as HR, I want you to do this. Update Scott.emp. So this is Scott. This is HR. So update Scott.emp. Set EPNO to equal to 4646, where EPNO equals 7777. Who has done that? Huh. What's going on? We have a problem? Say that again. Right? Is it hanging? Yeah. It's hanging. Update Scott and EMP on Scott. Set F no to equal 4545, where F no equals 7777. Now, in your HR tab, update Scott and EMP. Set F no to equal 4646, where F no equals 7777. Huh? Yes, you what are you saying? Uh, stop. Just stop. Just stop. Right? Relax. Chill out. <laughs> Let me do my thing. <laughs> Let, exactly. That's it. That's it. Let the man do his job. Right? <laughs> right? Mr. Nickens, are you good to go? Good. Mr. Nickens, you did all this, right? Scott, HR, right? I need you to do this to Scott. I need you to look at this as HR, right? This is HR, right? Everybody, it's everybody's Mr. Agnes. Are you hanging? Yeah, I'm Very doing good. the opposite, but I'm hanging. Yeah, you're hanging, right? Right? Now watch this. No, did you do the HR one? Click on HR. You're just hanging too. Very good. Watch this. Watch this, everybody. So users will come to you and say, dude, what the hell is going on? The database is so slow. I just ran a simple update statement, but the database is hanging. What's the problem? You say, oh, okay, it's been hanging. You look at the select statement. You say, yeah, this is just a very straightforward select statement. Watch this. The problem is this. Everybody. Go to your sys go to your sys tab and do select star from Scott.dmp. Go to your sys tab and just do select star from Scott.dmp. Select star from Scott.dmp. Scott.dmp. Right? Now watch this. Select star from Scott.dmp. Now watch this, guys. Listen to me. Here's what's here is really what's going on. The problem is this. The Scott user is blocking the HR user from being able to complete his transaction. Why? Because he refuses to commit. Okay. He refuses to commit. But that is really not the main issue. The main issue is this. Is that the HR user and the Scott user are both trying to update the same row. And Scott refuses to commit. It's not going to work. Oracle is going to say, hey, bro, I'm confused. This idiot right here hasn't committed. Now you want to go ahead and change it. What's the problem? I'm confused. So I'm going to make you hang until this guy actually commits. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now watch this. Technically, the way you need to explain this on any of you is this, right? When such a scenario happens, Oracle places what we call an exclusive row lock. Exclusive row lock on the table, on that row inside of the table. An exclusive row lock, right? That's number one. Everybody else can do anything else to any other row. Right? Any other role. But they cannot do what? Obviously, they can't do delete from Scott.dmp. No, you can't do that. Why? Because this role is still in transition. Right? 
That's number one. But it can still do update, any other row, insert into the table, and all that, right? They can still do all that. They can do select star, all that. The second thing that Oracle does is this. Oracle places what we call a table lock on the entire table. A ta so two things happen. When such a scenario happens, Oracle places what? An exclusive row lock. That's number one. And number two, it places a table lock on the entire table. Why? Why does it place a table lock? To protect the table from what? DDL commands. For instance, dropping the table, truncating the table, right? Altering the table. No, it's not going to allow you to do that. No. Why? Because that entire table is locked because there's a row inside that table that is still in transition because Scott has not committed. Row lock and table lock. So guess what? Because this guy hasn't committed, now HR, he can't do any work. He literally can't do any work because he's hanging. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now watch this. So now, the first thing that we're going to have to do now is, hmm, when this happens to you know, right? The first thing that we're going to do is, we're going to, I'm going to find out and say, look, let's find out who is blocking this user HR. Who is blocking this user HR from doing this thing, right? And how we do that? All right, here we go. 